Waterfront developers in the South Bronx say they'll deliver more housing, public parks, and retail to areas like Port Morris and Mott Haven. But promises of luxury waterfront living and world-class dining have longtime Bronxites asking, who exactly is this development for? Michael Johnson has lived in the Bronx for 15 years, and he co-founded the advocacy group South Bronx Unite. We have um, about 90,000 people living in our community, and Mott Haven and Port Morris have no access to the waters that surrounds them. Right now, waste transfer plants, bus parking lots, industrial buildings, and self-storage facilities take up most of the waterfront in Mott Haven and the surrounding communities. Very limited green space and recreational opportunities, some sky-high rates of asthma, obesity, and diabetes because there has not been a real investment into quality of life enhancements by a city and state local governments. Local leaders say there's a lot of economic potential in the neighborhood and only positive things can come from the investments. Still, Bronx activists have their reservations. Johnson says if developers fail to listen to local voices, their investments could lead to displacement and gentrification. And so when you see these developments going up for folks who make a lot more money than people who live here, we, we, we see what is happening. Is it a mirror image of what's going on around the city? And then they start creating quality of life enhancements for people who are to come and not for those who are here. Residents are pointing to the historic Clock Tower building in Mott Haven as another example of their worries. It's a converted piano factory that now serves as a market-rate housing complex right across the street from the waterfront development sites. Carnegie, the real estate group behind the renovations, is currently working on another complex right next door. Rents in the Clock Tower building can go up to $3,500 a month, which is more than double the median rent in Mott Haven overall. For BronxNet, I'm Andrew Seeger.